What's up guys, ZeroTech00 here and today we are gonna test a B-Defender 3 antivirus versus the WannaCry ransomware. So with that guys, let's get straight into the first test. Well guys, the first test is gonna be to extract the WannaCry ransomware on desktop while the B-Defender 3 antivirus is on. So with that guys, let's extract the WannaCry ransomware in 3, 2 and 1. And as you guys can see, the B-Defender 3 antivirus has managed to detect and stop the WannaCry ransomware from getting extracted from the WinRank file as you guys can see here. So with that guys, we can basically get further into the second test. Well guys, the second test will be to run the WannaCry ransomware with all the protections on on the B-Defender 3 antivirus. So with that guys, let's run the WannaCry ransomware in 3, 2 and 1. And as you guys can see, the B-Defender 3 antivirus has obviously detected and stopped WannaCry ransomware from running, which is really cool. So with that guys, once again, let's get further into our third test. So the third test is gonna be with the advanced 3 defense protection off only, as you guys can see here. The main protection is on. So with that guys, let's run once again the WannaCry ransomware in 3, 2 and 1 and before we do it let's deactivate the network adapter as always now let's run it in 3 2 and 1 and come on just know guys this is the only protection oh okay there we go okay so as you guys can see the b defender free antivirus has still detected and stopped on the ransom from running for a second i thought that i was gonna get infected and before we get into the fourth test guys just to show you guys, uh, this is the only protection that was off. The main protection here is on, as you guys can see. So with that guys, let's get further into a fork test. So the fork test will be with the real-time protection off, as you guys can see here. So basically, this is gonna be the only protection off. Let's run the one okay again somewhere once, once again. But once again, I'm gonna have to deactivate the internet, as we can see here. So with that guys, let's run the one okay again somewhere in 3, 2 and 1. And let's see, okay, this is not a good sign guys. As we can see here, okay, so yeah, the uh, B Defender Free Antivirus has indeed detected and probably now stopped Tonokai Ransom from infecting the system further. However, it did sort of infect the system. We can see these random files and stuff here from the Monokai Ransomware. That's not a very good sign. However, guys, I'm gonna try to do a quick scan, so I'm gonna see you guys at the quick scan. Okay guys, so as we can see, the B-Defender free antivirus has finished the quick scan and as we can see here, it detected the dev control tool, which is not the malware. It's not like related to the WannaCry ransomware, so don't worry about that. This is just a tool that deactivates Windows Defender because sometimes it's acting up when it is not supposed to, when I test malware with other antiviruses. But either way guys, here we have the ransomware. As we can see here, WannaCryptor, basically the WannaCry ransomware. I guess this one, I clearly want it deleted. This one, I don't want anything to happen because this is just a Windows Defender deactivation tool. So with that, let's continue. And there we go. Uh, once again, I don't want any action for that. And yeah, there we go, guys. That was the scan. And it seems like most of the files that were on desktop from the WannaCry ransomware are pretty much deleted by the B Defender Free Antivirus, which is really cool. I guess we are gonna go here, try to delete most of them. I think I should be able to do that here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it like each one at a time. So guys, I'm gonna be right back when I'm gonna do the final restart and when I'm also gonna finish deleting these files. So I'm gonna be right back. Okay guys, so I finished deleting all those files that were pretty much detected by the B-Defender free antivirus. So with that guys, let's finally do a final restart for the final result and also for the conclusion. Now let's just check task manager to see if there is any more malwares or viruses running in background. So these things are related to the B-Defender free antivirus. So these things are not malwares. This thing I'm pretty sure it's from the system. So I don't think that's a malware. Uh, we have this registry thing here. I'm not sure once again if it's malware related. I mean 
like song related but who knows i don't think it is though but yeah and yeah guys the system overall seems to be fine there is no resource that could indicate a continuous infection going on so with that guys as a conclusion Toby Defender free antivirus is not bad at all when you have all the protections on even the free version is not bad because if you have all the protections on that's the most important thing guys if you don't have some protections on and stuff you are obviously gonna be infected with the malware but if you have all the protections on on the B Defender free antivirus or on any other antiviruses you are obviously gonna be fine if you have a good antivirus and you have other protections on you should be fine and honestly only a crazy person would have the protection off on its antivirus so yeah guys that's the video i hope you guys enjoyed it my name was 0 and i'm gonna see you guys next time bye bye